Hey guys, Anna here. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'm continuing my video series uh, with the hashtag career in high gear where I talk about different ideas for you to stand out in your job search. In my previous video I talked about how you can utilize LinkedIn to stand out. Um, today I want to talk to you about a different tool and it's one of the, my favorite tools that I use a lot with, um, uh, with my clients and that's a PowerPoint presentation. Well, imagine if you're coming to an interview and you want to impress the, the interviewer by doing something differently compared to all the other candidates that, that have been interviewed. Or let's say you already had your interview and you haven't heard from the company in a while. You need some tool to you know, follow up and not simply send a follow-up email asking how things are going. A PowerPoint presentation is great for doing that. Not only does it show how prepared you are and how willing you are to you know, do something creative and go the extra mile, but it also immediately signals how good you are at professionally presenting information to others. What can you show in the, in, in the presentation slides? Well, first of all, um, it's a great way to visually summarize the, your value proposition. Again, how can you start immediately to bring value to the business? And there are tons of different ways how you can visually present that, tons of different elements and shapes and, and graphs and all that stuff that you can use in PowerPoint. Also, it can be a great way to, again, visually bridge the needs of the, of the employer with what you have to offer. So your qualifications, your um, specific you know, pieces of your experience or the skills that you've developed throughout your career. Because again, when you, when you are doing an interview and hopefully you're also doing that, you're connecting the dots between you know, what the employer needs and wants and what you have. But that is, you know, all that information can, some of it can be remembered, some of it can be easily forgotten. So when you visually summarize this in a written form, in a form of a slide that is concise, precise and straight to the point, it kind of gives it a nice wrap up, you know, um, feel and the employer doesn't have to, you know, again, struggle remembering what is it that you discussed in an interview, what are some of the things that, um, you know, that are so great about you as a prospective employee. Also, you can use the slides to um, showcase your accomplishments and success stories. When I say accomplishments, I don't mean your personal accomplishments. I mean those positive outcomes that you helped your previous employer to achieve. So the benefits how, that you were able to contribute uh, by doing your job um, every single day. The first one that um, I tend to see all over the place is overpopulating your slides with information. The golden rule of um, presentation is one idea per slide. And I don't mean that you know it has to be one statement per slide, but it has to be this one um, piece that you are trying to get across to, to your target audience. So if you overpopulate your slides with text, they become very hard to read and they, they look so heavy that it will it may, it may throw your, your, your prospective employer off simply because it doesn't look easy enough to understand because that's the whole point of doing a presentation to make complicated information look visually simple, accessible and easily understandable. Other than that, uh, you know, don't be afraid to experiment with the formatting a bit and again, I mean within reason, right? Um, so it, it's probably a good idea to include the company logo on uh, on each of your slides to show this, you know, consistent standard of professional um, presentation. And other small details that you know, choosing the color scheme that also represents, you know, the the logo of the company or the color scheme that they use, let's say, on their website. Little things like that, they still signal your enormous attention to detail and your professionalism. So those things are great and don't be afraid to play around a bit and be creative with it. I hope this video was helpful. 
in my next one I'll be talking about other awesome tools that you can use to get your marketing message across to the decision maker and do something different to stand out in your job search. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.